smoke rises over haunting discoveries from the rubble as the president vows victory. We will do whatever it takes to smoke them out and get them running, and we'll get them. And New York honors its bravest. He loved his fire department and all the men in it. The nation cautiously back on the move. And proudly waving the flag. America rising. This is a special edition of the CBS Evening News. I'm John Roberts. Good evening. On the fifth evening after the terrorist assaults, these are the latest developments. A second arrest warrant has been issued for a material witness in the terror investigation. The number of missing in New York has jumped by 200 to 4,972. President Bush vows to do what it takes to win the war against terrorism. Pakistan agrees to all U.S. demands for possible action against Afghanistan. Major airlines warn they now face bankruptcy, and the stock exchanges will reopen on Monday. We begin tonight with late-breaking details on the investigation into who was responsible for the attacks. Jim Stewart in Washington has uncovered new information. Jim? John, the FBI now has two people in custody under material witness warrants, and authorities say both are believed to have, quote, direct knowledge of Tuesday's attacks. One is being held in New York, and the other is en route there under heavy custody. One of the men was taken into custody at John F. Kennedy Airport earlier this week with false identification. No details are available about the second. Meanwhile, authorities now confirm that the FBI had been looking for two of the hijackers for several weeks before Tuesday's attack took place. They knew their names. The FBI had warned the FBI that the two men had entered the country and were believed to be associated with the bombing of the USS Cole last year. FBI officials say they were never able to locate the men and they are denying tonight reports that they had the suspects under surveillance. Sources identify one of those men as Khalid al-Madar, who was aboard the plane that crashed into the Pentagon. Also, authorities confirm they now have significant evidence that other pilot-trained terrorists are still in the country, and they have made the search for them their highest priority. It is not known whether any of those people are on the watch list for one of 100 individuals that's been circulated to all U.S. law enforcement as of this evening. It appears only, quote, a handful of those people have been detained for questioning. And finally, we're going to be hearing reports from all around the country this weekend of people being detained. And it appears that while this is obviously related to Tuesday's attacks, authorities warn that not all of these people had any direct knowledge. John. Jim Stewart with late-breaking details tonight from Washington. 